Here's part four of our conversation with Steve Hackett. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Steve Hackett's brand new album is Surrender of Silence. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on it and the tour. He's doing a seconds out tour. Remember that famous live album from Genesis? Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Hackett. Oh, I, 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 this is a goofy question, but I'll ask it. Anyway. Kevin Lewis asks, were yeah. you forced to do a pop album in 1981 with Cursed? Cursed. I think you mean Cured. Cured. Um, yes, that's what he meant. The right. <laughs> cursed. 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 <laughs> it's a very good. It's a very good title. Cursed. Yeah. I love it. Well, um, I think I like nice Cured. I like that album quite a bit. I think I mentioned that to you before yeah, many funny times. Enough, I was doing a, a, a very long interview about early albums uh, recently with. Um, uh, with Paul Gosling, and he was asking me this question on on, on Sunday, in fact, and um, he was telling me how much he liked Cured um, for all of its pop sensibility. I think it was the first time I was singing, and it was at a time in the industry when um, it was the beginning in 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 1980, where people were in the industry were were saying um, we have to have a hit single from you, and um, it wasn't until the following album, ironically, which was a heavier album, that I had a hit single with, with Cell 151. But yeah. when I was doing that, I was, I was um, trying to um, sing for the first time, be the lead singer. And um, I think that a lot of the songs were quite gentle in order to deal with my fledgling attempts at, at being a lead singer. Also, um, in order to get record deals at that time. It is an era before, before um, artists started to own their own label. Um, we had tremendous pressures bearing down on us. It was the dawning of the age of MTV and all the rest. Um, and I was signed to Epic as a result of that album. But, heavy, but when we were playing it live, it was, it was much heavier. Held in the shadows. I, I wrote down starts very sweet, quickly rocks. Love the and and I also put the fact that the I love the use of strings on this album. I just love yeah. it. Um, that it's Mellotron strings on that one. Um, Is it? Yeah. Um, and but at the end, it, it, we we used other string things on it. Um, we used forward strings and backward strings playing at the same time in order to complexify it and uh, bendy stuff. Um, ooh, let me see. Um, yeah, strings very important. You know, I'm a string player. I play guitar, yeah, which is a percussion yeah. instrument, of course. But I love the use of strings. Always did ever since I was a child. Listening to, um, I think Tchaikovsky for the first time, I, I became aware of strings. Um, and I always loved the idea that maybe one day, rock groups and orchestras might come together. And so we're always doing that in the imagination and the world of, of the impossible, perhaps. Um, you can fuse those things together in a, in, a, in a virtual sense and come up with something like um, some of the sound combinations that we've had on this. Um, they're often unfamiliar colors um, yeah. in rock, but you know we're, we're broadening rock's shoulders all of the time. Uh, it's very out there, but it's very cohesive. It's it's um, it's it's dynamite to play. You're handling TNT. <laughs> For you personally, Steve, how, uh, I mean, I'm listening to this album going, God, these ideas are just popping out. Yes. Is it yeah. just is is it easier now for you? I mean, what keeps you going to 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 work at this level? I remember I worked with a guy who was a roadie many years ago. He said, "You've got to be a little bit mad to be in this business." And um, I would agree with that. You know, it's it's my way of dealing with with madness. I try and channel it into music, music and madness and mellotrons. They're all part of this, you know of, 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 of the same thing. Um, we serve the god of music, all the yeah. goddess. That's what we do. We make a noise for a living. We use it to anchor ourselves. I think. Um, I know a lot of musicians say they might have gone off the rails if it hadn't been for music. So. Music and madness, yeah. Um, if you can channel it, that can be wonderful. Um, Van Gogh did it with paint. 
um, many rock musicians do it with an electric guitar or drum. Well, I'll ask you this, okay, at, at the end of the tour, at the end of an album, how are you feeling? You must be feeling that sense of satisfaction or at the end of a tour, how do you feel when you're, uh, what's that feeling that you, you come home with when, when you're finished those projects? Um, I think you tend to feel very strange. Um, you keep going on adrenaline and people say, right. how do you manage to sleep in strange beds? But you don't have a choice. You're so exhausted, you pass out. That's what happens every day, you know. Uh, it's an extreme level of tiredness. Winding down can be difficult, but you know, when I was young, I, I would, um, smoke, drink, party all night if it, if it needed it. Now, now of course, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm much older and much more boring, uh, a much more, more boring company. I can talk to you about more books I've read, but uh, I can't go, hey, well, man, great, let's have a party right here. Um, um, I proved that thus far I've been a survivor, um, but I'm, I'm a man of my passions, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I love all the things that I did at one time, all the, the, those things don't change. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, w when I was 50, there was a 15 year old trying to get out and it's the same now, you know, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Seven one, can we reverse those figures please with the knowledge that I have now, give me a 17 year old body and I'm there, lovely. Um, that would be great, yeah, Superman calls. <laughs> Surrender of Silence is the brand new album from Steve Hackett, go to hackettsongs.com for information on that. It's a great record and information on the new tour, which is called Seconds Out, which is named after, of course, the double live album from Genesis. He was still in the band back then. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos and buy a t-shirt. Help support our channel. There's all kinds of different designs for all of our channels. Check them out. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.